Hey guys, what's up? I am Palak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational videos focusing mainly on studying, working and living in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in today's video, we have Eva with us. She is from Poland. She completed her master's in organic and molecular electronics from TU Dresden. So today I am here to uh, interview her regarding her entire uh, master degree experience. So let's get started with today's video. Could you please quickly introduce yourself to the viewers? Uh, yes, for those of you who don't know me, I am uh, 31 years old. I studied in Dresden for my master's, but I was living for 17 years in Poland where I was born. And um, yeah, I switched my education several times between uh, Poland and Germany. So for the high school, I went to Germany. And then I went to Poland to study chemical technology. But then I went back to Germany uh, because I found this uh, field of study on molecular and um, organic electronics really interesting. Okay, great. My first question is why did you choose this course? Well, first of all, I was uh, not really happy with my bachelor's degree uh, because I somehow felt that, was, that there was something missing. Like I was always interested in physics behind chemistry and it was not enough for me there and I couldn't just go deep into this topic and um, yeah I knew that it will be not possible for me to study such an interesting field um, in Poland and during my bachelor's, um, my, uh, bachelor's thesis I was investigating some things um, combining this electronic stuff in human body like okay. encapsulation and all the mechanism and that's how I uh, found out about um, like very interesting things that are happening in our body and I was looking for something which will give me some more insight into this uh, area and then I was uh, searching on the internet and I accidentally found the um, to address the faculty of physics uh, offering this course. Okay, great. Could you quickly tell the admission requirements for this particular course? Um, yes, uh, but uh, there are two different types of admission requirements because I am from uh, EU yeah. and there are people who are coming not from EU and actually this um, um, field of study was really international, yeah. multi-diversional. So, uh, for people who are coming outside of the EU, they um, of course need to um, make, uh, sub um, apply uh, until the deadline, which will be for them different than for us. And it is already gone this year. It was uh, 31st of May. Okay. Yeah, uh, you have to register on uh, the page. Of course, you also have to have some basic understanding of chemistry and a profound um, understanding of physics and uh, electronics. And also, it's really important to speak uh, and understand fluently English. It's like C1 um, level. Yeah, so okay. that's the main requirements. Uh, do you have to apply via UniAssist or you can apply directly to the university? Oh, that's, it's depending on the country of your origin. As I already mentioned, if you are coming outside of uh, European Union, you have to apply uh, via UniAssist. So it means if you have a degree from a different university than a German institution, then you have to apply via uh, UniAssist. Otherwise, uh, if you have the degree from a German institution, or you just or you did like like me, I did my diploma in Germany, okay. which is called Abitur and then I uh, needed to apply to directly to TU Dresden. Now, if you go to the UNESCO page, you have to register and then you have to fill in your personal data and then choose the university of your choice and then choose also the classes and the course of your cho choice. Then you have to upload your documents and pay the fees for cho choosing like one or several uh, courses of desire. Do you remember the fees that you paid? Yeah, I think it was something like 70 euros for my uh, first course of 
twice and then if I wanted to apply for an additional I would like have to pay 30 euros. Okay, so TU Dresden is a renowned university in Germany. Not only in Germany but I would say entire Europe. So uh, the competition would be pretty high. So how many students do you think are accepted each year for this course? Uh, I only can speak from my own experience and uh, in my course there were like approximately 20 people and they were coming from China, Mexico, India, um, Greece, yeah. uh, Russia. I was coming from Germany but I am officially Polish so it was really nice to see so many different cultures uh, there and how they approach the topic, you know. Okay, yeah. yeah. And also uh, it's worth to mention that um, yeah, Saxony is something like Silicon Valley yeah. in Germany. So, TU Dresden really um, invites you to this to this course to give you a proper um, the education to work there because they have so many institutes uh, which are associated with the fields of uh, plastic electronics, like um, organic photovoltaics and renewable energies and uh, OLEDs and all the organic like everything what's um, combined with light physics. Organic transistors, um, organic photovoltaics. It was, uh, I, I actually wanted to do something with photovoltaics. So okay. that's, that's why I have chosen this. But also I was really interested in the mechanics, mechanics of the human body. Are there any course fees? Yeah, of course. You have to pay, pay a semester fee each semester. And it was like, 217 at my at the time I was studying but I think it's uh, higher now okay it consists among others uh, of um, the ticket for you know, Travel. traveling um, in the city okay so what are the majors and the minors that you study in this course you can choose between uh, two majors it's uh, physics or electronics and then you have two minors uh, chemistry and nanotechnology and as far as I can remember, at the time I was studying, I, it was the same. I, I think it was the same. So, but it's really interesting, the courses they offer. Like, um, I really liked um, um, semiconductor physics. It was solid state basics and um, molecular modeling, which I loved because uh, I really found it interesting to model uh, things and do the simulations and um, also optoelectronics with Professor Eng, which uh, I really admire because he can explain things so easily for you to understand. It's like he is living uh, what he is teaching, you know? It's like, oh, this is this and this is... And then if you go to him um, for an exam, and most of the exams were oral exams because they really wanted to see if you understand the... Yeah. Um, concept yeah, really concept well. Yeah, concept really well. And they were, would ask you some tricky questions. <laughs> But they will also give you like a chance to to earn a, a really good grade okay. because if you see the potential, if they uh, saw potential that you can just connect the dots, they will uh, ask you those questions, you know. Okay. And it was really great, really great. Okay. What is so special about this course? Uh, for me, it was really special that it was really interdisciplinary and I really had fun combining all the different fields. I think I'm not the type of person who likes like sticking to one area. I just like picking ideas from different uh, fields and I think it's uh, good because, uh, you know, life is not steady, it's yeah. always changing. So, yeah, I, I'm, I really enjoy doing this because of the fact that it was so interdisciplinary and that you had so many different people there and we could exchange our um, experiences yeah. and talk about things like for example um, I remember we were going like to the library and sitting all together and, and talking about those uh, things and you know someone uh, was better in mathematics they could yeah. explain us things but someone was better in chemistry and, and they could explain other things better and it was like um, brainstorming a yeah. bit okay. and I like uh, like working in team like this. Good. Yeah. Uh, where does your majority of classes and labs takes place? The majority of classes and labs they take place at the campus. It's uh, now they have uh, built like the new modern building for this okay. but uh, the previous building was just the uh, old um, old building uh, of the physics uh, faculty okay. but now they have like a really nice um, 
really nice and big and modern uh, building for this and yeah you have to go there and visit to see it's really nice okay. during my time there were also classes that were taking place uh, outside of dresden and it was in chemnitz and also i think there was one in leipzig but i'm not sure but i think yeah because there are some institutes outside and we have to go there just to to make the lab you know okay what modules do you learn uh, during this entire course? Uh, there were core modules like um, physics of semiconductors, then semiconductor technology, um, then you also had like some characterization of, of uh, organic tin films and organic inorganic tin films, also molecular modeling, so simulations and uh, optoelectronics. Um, yeah, I think that was the main uh, focus like uh, organic semiconductors also this was uh, there this course do you have an option to choose an elective yeah you have several elective courses like for example sustainable future and uh, you could also choose uh, if you want to go to study German language you know they also offered this uh, material science um, like scientific work they were not really demanding but uh, some of them were really interesting. Okay. How are the exams conducted? Like, were there uh, written exams, oral exams, MCQs or presentations? Uh, most of exams were written and oral. Uh, in the first semester, I think, and second semester, most of them were oral. And then you had, uh, after this summer of written exams, and uh, for some of the elect elective uh, courses you had to do the presentation okay is it easy to find part-time job in dresden i think it's easy i think if you are a foreigner coming there and you're really interested into your field you're really enthusiastic then you have the opportunity to do some part-time job at the university at the, the faculty of physics where you're studying this um, omi um, course and um, yeah, you just ask the professor and they will give you some job because it's preparing you practically for you are, yeah. what you are doing later. Yeah. Okay. So any advice that you would like to give to the prospective students who wants to pursue this course in TU Dresden? Yeah, maybe just to stay enthusiastic and motivated. It's really good to be enthusiastic and motivated and professors like people who like, uh, like this. And yeah, just do a lot of research on your own. It's uh, not like typical field of study because it's really groundbreaking. Yeah. You have to do a lot of research from the newest public publications. It's changing a lot. Um, yeah, and then, then you will be okay. <laughs> okay, great. So thank you so much, Eva, for this detailed uh, interview. Thank you too for inviting me. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also if you have further doubts, you can leave them in the comment section below and we will try to answer them. So see you in the next video guys. Till then take care and stay safe. Bye.